It's been all over the internet for the last few weeks, so I'm sure the topic of this video needs little introduction. But just in case you were living under a rock, so to speak, I'll go over it anyway. With that said, if you were living under a rock, you might have been right at home with the subject of today's video. Recently, another new discovery was added to Australia's impressive catalogue of woefully overrated spiders. A large, bulky trapdoor spider called Euoplos dignitas, a name derived from the Latin dignitas meaning dignity or greatness, referring to the spider's impressive size. The name also pays homage to Project Dig, which supported the research that led to this species description. Euoplos is a genus of trapdoor spiders endemic to Australia, with a range encompassing almost the entire eastern coast of the continent, as well as Tasmania and parts of Western Australia. The subtropical rainforests and eucalypt forests of southeast Queensland appear to be a particular hotspot for the genus, with five new species being described from the area only a couple years ago. They belong to a family known as the Idiopidae, or spiny trapdoor spiders, a very widespread group found not only throughout Australia, but in New Zealand, Asia, Africa and the Americas. Here in Australia, members of the Idiopidae include some of our most familiar types of trapdoor spider, namely genera such as Arbanitis, which can occur in urban backyards and are commonly misidentified as funnel webs, and Gyas, notable for being the current record holder for lifespan among spiders, with an individual of the species Gyas villosus reaching an age of 43 years. The members of the genus Euoplos are commonly known as the golden trapdoor spiders, although for a fair portion of the species, brick red would be a more apt description of their coloration. Across the 25 currently described species within the genus, appearance is fairly consistent. Females are heavily built spiders, with a very broad carapace, and an exoskeleton so glossy and polished that they look as though they're about to attend some sort of posh upper-class function. Adult males are relatively lanky, with a smaller body and long, spindly legs. Many are also very large, a few indeed are among the heaviest spiders in Australia, rivalling some of our tarantula species in mass. The newly described Euoplos dignitas sits toward the upper end of the scale when it comes to size, boasting a body length of 50mm and a leg span of approximately 90mm. It inhabits the Brigalow Belt of inland Queensland, a region also occupied by the similarly sized Euoplos grandis, although the latter has a more southerly distribution than the former. Like most mygalomorph spiders, their mobility and respiration leave something to be desired, restricting them to a life of ambush. Of course, if you're only going to do one thing in your life, you'd bloody well hope to be good at it. And when it comes to the lazy but admittedly pretty crafty art of sit and wait predation, Euoplos are well and truly on top of the game. The clay-rich soils they favour are very conducive for burrowing, as they hold shape much more easily than looser, softer soils. Huoplos are adept burrowers, and while their short, thick legs are a stone's throw away from being utterly useless for anything pertaining to athletics, they are of great aid for digging through the tough, resistant substrates that these spiders often reside in. But of course, no burrow is truly a safe haven without a secure door, especially when there's giant centipedes prowling around on the surface that would warmly welcome a plump eight-legged snack. Most Euoplos species construct thick, plug-like doors over their burrow entrance, a sure sign that the occupant doesn't want any more visitors, well-wishers or distant relations. Euoplos dignitas is no exception to this, but there are some other Euoplos species that have taken their own personal spin on the group's architectural prowess. A few species construct a palisade over the burrow, raising the entrance above the ground, perhaps a form of protection against flooding. Some even add an ornate edge to the burrow's entrance, 
and many will incorporate mosses, lichens, and fragments of leaf litter into the door's surface. Who knew an animal that's practically blind could have such an inclination for aesthetics? Because of their sedentary lifestyles and inability for babies to transport themselves via ballooning, like so many more derived spiders do, Euoplos have very limited dispersal, meaning that offspring will often settle in close proximity to their mother's burrow. This causes these spiders to have rather clumped distributions, occurring at high densities in areas of suitable habitat, but having very little capability to expand their range with any degree of rapidity. This makes trapdoor spiders and their ilk highly vulnerable to habitat loss, as the destruction of a suitable environment could wreak havoc on a local population. And given their often patchy, fragmented distributions, any neighbouring populations may still be a substantial distance away, rendering it very difficult for a degraded area to be replenished by individuals from an adjacent habitat. In the case of Euoplos dignitas, a search in 2021 before the species had been properly named and described revealed only a single population along several hundred metres of roadside verge. Furthermore, Euoplos are extremely slow growers, and it takes many years for an individual to be old enough to reproduce. So even if a population is not completely extirpated, it could take decades to fully recover, if it recovers at all. In fact, Euoplos dignitas is already suspected to be endangered due to the large amount of land clearing that has taken place within its native range. The Brigalow Belt is in fact considered to be among Queensland's most threatened ecological communities. Euoplos dignitas may be a newly described species, but it has been known to science since many years prior. An enigmatic, nameless entity that would rear its head every so often when the occasional specimen was collected, but remained unbeknownst to many. Naming and describing potentially threatened species is an important aspect of conservation. It's hard to protect an anonymous creature that barely anyone is even remotely aware of, but now, with its name plastered all over the news for the last few weeks, Euoplos dignitas not only has an identity, but has been catapulted into the limelight from the very depths of obscurity. And this newfound coverage may hopefully draw some attention, not only to its own plight, but to the vulnerability of trapdoor spiders and mygalomorphs as a whole, to habitat destruction and other threats such as overcollecting. If you'd like to see the time I first encountered a Euoplos in the wild, take a look at this video here. Or head here to view the Guide to Australian Spiders series, which is still very much in its early stages. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall hopefully see you again very soon.